guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's vlog uh, I know in the in my first video I said that we were going drifting um, and I may have fucked that up a little bit um, we got to the track we, we ended up going drifting and everything um, but I forgot my camera bag so we only had one battery for this camera um, and that ran out pretty quick and then I also forgot my SD card for my GoPro so the day was a little bit of a write-off um, content wise but we managed to get through all good the car made it pretty much with, with no problems um, and there a couple of problems that we did have we're gonna go fix today um, so we, we bent a tie rod um, and we didn't have gauges in the car so we weren't too sure what the what the water temps were doing uh, boost was fine the turbo worked absolutely perfect um, and the gearbox surprisingly held up it, although it was very wet and we did have the tires uh, the tire pressure up to around 36 psi so it was pretty slippy um, but it was very enjoyable I, I did get a couple of clips and I'll chuck them in now uh, for you guys to see but um, yeah so today we're heading over to Aaron's and we're just gonna go do a few bits I do have the Joe Master 3's in the car the rear and front um, knuckles but I'm not too sure if we'll get around to getting them in we don't have a lot of time to, to get it done today but uh, yeah, we'll see what we get done. On for the boys. Go for a new flavor. Got the mango one. Man, I love monsters. Yeah. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, like I said before, um, we've got the geos in the back. But I'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to fit them and start just started raining and everything. Um, and Aaron's shed isn't big enough uh, for us to, to jack it up and get access to all four so and I think as well I think with the geos they drop it down 40 mil and at the minute my car is sacked out to the max I have scrapes already even when we we're trying to get onto the tracks and stuff um, so I don't really but I can't lower it anymore um, and we don't have the lock I don't know what they are like the the spanners uh, for the coilovers so we'll have to go down to VRS at some point take the car down uh, we'll be able to get it up on the lift and it'll make it 10 times easier so I'm pretty sure we won't be cracking on with that today uh, but we've still got a load of stuff that we can crack on with um, yeah we'll just have to see what the weather allows us to do um, and how yeah how Aaron wants to tackle it so see you boys there we're about five minutes away now so you guys there just got here to Aaron's place um, you guys would have seen we just unboxed the geos um, and thankfully everything was in there yeah we've got the rear knuckles here um, obviously just got to take the original hubs chuck them on there bottom in absolutely fine got the front here one thing I got to say about these things mate, they're made amazing like they feel like quality I think the these were actually um, collaboration between them and Wisefab, so they're going to be definitely going to be a good uh, good make for us. And yeah, we've got the Jap Speed ends here, with the drop knuckles, then the Geo tie rod ends. So not too sure if we're going to be fitting these today. Not too sure if the man that's going to, yeah, I'm not fitting them. He'll be fitting them today. So. But uh, like I said, in the car, we're definitely going to be chucking gauges in the car today. Gauges today important. And then we're gonna, what I'll probably do is I wanna take these over fenders off um, just to see what's going on. Cause at the minute, this footment here has no spacer. Then if we come over to this side, that's got a 50 mil spacer in it. So at some point, either the rear subframes moved um, or what I'm hoping is these over fenders are just shit. And I can order some 50 mil over fenders that'll clear all that up because yeah the guy who had, <laughs> the guys at the track were screwing at me running a 50 mil over, um a 50 mil spacer on one side and not the other so we'll get that sorted so i what's happening get back with you boys aaron reckon i don't do enough work so he's giving me a bloody hand tool instead of the electric one 
growth. One of them's um, spun the the bit inside. We'll worry about that later. Oh, yeah. The reason I'm making them do it by hand is because they got off and on written on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my smart water this morning, so I need all the help I can get. Yeah, we're three bloody holes done. We've got ten thousand to go. We're making progress. So we got all these off. This one here wants to be a little prick, so we're going to grind that off. Um, then that whole side will come off. Oh, we've got these little bolts in down there as well. Uh, and just taping up our loom. This is for the oil pressure sensor here. Yeah. yeah. And we're just making that nice and tidy. Um, then we'll run that from the yeah from the engine bay in here. Cut a hole in the dash for the gauge. In the meantime, I'm going to be unscrewing these so we can get at this and see what's going on it's got the last bolt to take off here boy struggling to get this off put on some magic or something Fuck. yeah all we've got it's just that one there yeah all these bolts are pretty ganj as well so we'll be uh we'll be replacing a lot of them uh hopefully i'm replacing this whole back fender um, yeah so then that should then just oh no I've got zip ties as well buddy cars full of zip ties literally what's holding it together so literally cut them and this good I don't think anything's holding it on down there. Oh, forgot. I can un unbolt these from inside as well. Oh, yeah? Nice. It's pretty, pretty fucked, eh? Yeah. He's a fucking nice guy, though. He is, bro. Said he worked you hard. Eh? Hey? Said he worked you hard this week in training. Mm -hmm. One of the toughest sessions for weeks. Yeah. So, yeah. See, we got that off. Uh, take that off. See what sort of gange is under this. I just want to wash in there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is with no, no spacer. And these wheels are pretty wide anyway, eh? they've got yeah, tens in there. They've got tens. Um, yeah. We'll crack on to the other side. You can see the difference. We'll take the 50mm uh, spacer off there. And then, uh, yeah, see what we've got. This is a good example of how shit this car was put together before. Fucking wood screw holding in our body kit. The size of that thing. You're nuts. Should have asked you to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, just cut that off. This should come straight off. Again. So that there's with a 50 mil spacer on it. And it looks relatively similar, right? Yeah. And there. So. So I guess now the what we're gonna have to do, take this off, put it up, do some measuring. Um, yeah, just see what it is, see if it's if it is the actual subframe. I, I know this chassis are pretty renowned for uh, for being a little off center and everything, but 
it's, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be about 50 mil off. Uh, so, yeah, we'll suss out that. Get back with you boys in a sec. I know he's not a Kiwi, but. Fucking hell, that's some Kiwi ingenuity if I've ever seen some. Look at that. You! She ain't going nowhere. Try to get this off, and there's a 50 mil spacer there. Just see what it's like with that off. There's one going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. South spacer there. Pretty sure it's stuck out a little bit further than that, but we'll, uh, we'll get this wheel on and we'll be able to actually see Maybe get the tape measure out. Try to do some numbers. Whoa. Should be all good just to let them down, eh? Yeah. That's where we are without the 50 mil. I reckon. And then that side. I mean, they're relatively even, eh? Looks that way. So that's that's pretty good news. I think I'll uh, jump on the internet probably order up some some overfenders. Not too sure what size we're going because these these aren't the wheels that we'll be running. Um, I've been looking at a couple of three-piece wheels. These will just be our drift wheels, um, but then our sort of daily wheels will be some works, I imagine, some some sort of work three piece. Daily yeah. wheels are over there. Yeah, actually, that's the <laughs> daily wheels. Good point. Good point. So the uh, the streetable wheels on this thing will be three piece. Um, so yeah, just try to figure out whether we need 50 mil over fenders, 75 mil, because I sort of want to get away from the spaces in the back. Um, yeah. The old budget's not holding up too well. But yeah, we had these pretty, pretty pumped up at the track. They rock solid at the minute. I think they're up at about 36 psi. Um, just because we're still running the stock SR um, transmission and stuff in there, so it's not it's not too strong. So we'll do everything that we can to help it out. So yeah, this is our old um, center bit that we had. As you can see, these, uh, these are pretty shit. So what we did was we put in, pardon the, uh, the wood screws in there, I know I just slated them before, but they're only temperamental. Uh, but we went with a nice carbon fiber, uh, and some clean ones there. We've got windows and stuff. Um, yeah, we're about to just drill them out. Uh, so we can fit the gauges and stuff. We've got nice stack gauges as well. She so we didn't really cheap out on anything. Um, yeah, about to drill them in, wire them up. Aaron's just spent ages creating these nice looms for us. So that should be really nice. Um, yeah, we've got our lambda and stuff there. So yeah, we'll see how it. Uh, so it should look real nice when it's done. We're still waiting for our rev counter to come. 
um, so they weren't in stock when we when we went to look at them. Also, this is our old wheel here. Pretty ganj, pretty shit. Um, and it also sticks out. So the way that the hub's mounted and everything, it comes quite close to you. Um, and it's not ideal. So I feel like I'm all scrunched up when I'm drifting. So we went ahead and we got a new one. Cheers to the guys out at Competition Supplies. Uh, nice flat wheel. It's got the, I don't know if that's, that Alcantara, bro? On the wheel? No, I ain't seen it. Huh. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like it. Yeah, so it's quite a nice wheel. Um, comes with a horn and stuff, not that we need that. But yeah, so probably look to swap them over as well. Give me a bit of space um, and a little bit of arm room getting there boys we're slowly slowly putting it together back again but then also with the dash um, I think Aaron knows a guy who flocked it we tried to flock it ourselves you see it didn't really come out too nice um, so we'll be sending that away at some point eh? yeah I think the main priority for this was just get it running and, and everything and then we'll, uh, we'll make it look nice now so yeah, we got we got another drift day coming up on the 28th though, so I think that's the priority now. Get the gauges in, get everything done, ready for that. Um, then after that, yeah. Bro, you know how you said you lost that uh, that bit? Where is it? Just behind behind the roll cage. I can't see it. So yeah. Uh, oh, down in there. Yeah. You lost the end bit for that. You ordered a new one though, didn't you? It's, uh, <laughs> it's better. It's, uh, it's actually loads better. It fits better than that one. So, oh, told you we'd find it. Fucking eagle eyes over here. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're up to. I think that, the other thing was trying to move this seat down. We're gonna try to, um, at some point, probably not today, but figure a way to get that seat a bit lower because as you can see Aaron's probably the same height as me and if he had this helmet on just better looking <laughs> <laughs> better looking and less hair so but you smack your head on the on the roll cage um, as you're going around so but we obviously need the seat the seat to be able to slide back and forth because AJ will probably be having a drive in this at some point um, so yeah, we'll try to figure a way around that, but so yeah, that's that all swapped over. Got the uh, quick release hub there. So that should be good. As you can see it's got hardly any dish to it, if any. Um, so it should take the wheel a little bit further away from me. Aaron's in here doing his maths. Obviously had a smart water this morning. And those gauges are looking pretty mean. Got lunch time, boys. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the water temp and the oil yeah, pressure. Yeah, so that, that one's oil, that one's water. So we've got to get that one to try and follow the loom and into there, which has previously been fitted. Mm. And then we'll just time up come the zip tie, tidy that along with the original loom. And then... Was there a fitting put in on the... Yeah, I've already done that. Oh, okay. I did all them when we'd done the original build down there. Yeah. So, yeah. There's a T piece off the um, oil drain down there. Is that a leak in there? Or? Yeah, I just found a brake fluid leak. You know, we were losing a bit. Yeah. Is that why it's just not tight? I'm not sure. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh,
it, all the wiring's all ran now. We've got our oil pressure um, run down, connected there. We've got our water temp uh, run inside. We've also hooked our lambda up. Um, so all that's left now, we've got to uh, mount the gauges. And here, you can see, holes all cut. Uh, we've got our lambda in the middle, then we'll have our oil pressure and then our water temp in here uh, all the loom and stuff then we've just got to run our lives all our lives are in here and then we'll find a, a way to earth it um, off the back of that so making good progress with that then all that's really left after after finishing that is probably Aaron just said we'll give it an oil change uh, we try to change the oil after every event um, got the tie rods and bits and pieces probably definitely do that before the next event probably won't do that today but we'll definitely get them done before the 28th um, and then the geos I don't, I don't know if we'll get the geos on before the event which we've got, we're in no rush uh, to get them on um, but once they're on obviously we'll make it a whole different um, experience to drive this car so I'm looking forward to it but again no rush for that it's uh, running, it ran really good at the track. Um, but like I said, see if we can find, you can see it a lot easier. And there, yeah, so you've got a massive kink in there. And it was just after every, every time you went over bumps and stuff, it would just bend and it was quite horrible. Um, I did notice though that the steering binds up um, and I think the spaces that we got with the kit will help um, help that out massively um, so yeah no we're getting closer I don't know if I've shown you guys this though just about the quality that's gone into this car um, custom intercooler a custom red as well and then all the piping and stuff to our intake um, got the hoses some nice aluminium welding there uh, and then all the headers as well they're all custom um, and looking nice but one thing I do want to sort out is the paint obviously I've got a bit of fiberglass work to do there need to paint the hood and then yeah get everything I would like to take the cage out at some point but again none of that's on the priority list really so I think for now what we're gonna do so I've taken these off I think these are about a 75 mil um, of the footman and then these here will be about 20, 25. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're taking them off, and we'll probably just run them um, like this until I can find 75 mil. Um, I mean, that's, it's not the best, not the greatest, obviously, but it'll do, especially for our next drift event. We've got working gauges. That's supposed to be doing up and down, I suppose that idle. Just the idle, just, if you just touch the throttle, that should hold steady. That's the brake. The slider's on, bro. Gauges are working. I guess the only other button to. Probably wants to be hot for that. Hey, probably needs to be hot. For the oh yeah, yeah. So now everything's. Everything that we've done so far is working. Working pretty good. Cool, it comes up. Yeah. Just gonna watch the water temp, see if it comes up, because at the minute our, nothing on our uh, cluster here is working. Then we'll have a taco here. Just gotta go pick that up. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty good lambda, eh? This one needs to settle down a little bit. Our water uh, temperature going up, 
so it's obviously working. It's dropping slowly. So, good job, bro. Cool. Okay, so it's a wicked sound that this car makes. Um, I don't know if I've just said before, but the guy who done all the intercooler piping and everything um, in the bay, he made a custom exhaust for us. Um, three inch the whole way back custom downpipe yeah, into a stainless steel exhaust uh, with the shotguns at the back so a really really nice sounding engine it's just running really nice spools off as well um, hopefully get a few clips for you guys uh, if I have them uh, when we're at the drift track um, this thing here yeah, really does sound amazing and everything obviously that have been drilled into it um, they do a job I'm gonna do a job and over here we're welding up our handbrake that broke we we're thinking well the reason that the, the welds broke on this is uh if like you tried welding aluminium to metal so yeah we're just gonna touch it up here bro yep so we try to get that working uh, that way at least I'll have a, a working hydro um, for the track. Now I know that Japanese don't use hydros and stuff, so shame on me, but fuck it, it makes it easier. So we're gonna give that a crack. Hopefully that holds up as well. Uh, just imagine it should do. Yeah, progress, boys. Fuck, boys, I've done it again. I forgot the old batteries and it, uh, it ran out. But um, you guys didn't miss out on too much. Uh, we pretty much finished everything up anyway. Uh, Aaron just welded up the hydro handle uh, and then we put that back in the car. Um, and we put on a, a banner, window banner for the front windshield. Um, just a Wolf menswear one, but I'll, I'll take a couple of photos for you guys. Or we'll see it in the next vlog. Um, we didn't end up touching the geos or the uh, tie rod ends, uh, the tie rods and the tie rod ends. Um, so we'll probably get into that on Tuesday. Um, I'll make sure that day's free and we'll get down to Aaron's again and we'll, we'll crack on with that. Hopefully it'll be a good learning experience for me. Um, I'll learn how to take apart um, all that part of the car um, and how to put it back together again. Um, and hopefully you guys learn something as well or if you guys know what you're doing already, give me some tips. Um, I'm always down to learn. But yeah, no, that, that's the end of this video guys. And, um, massive thank you to, uh, if you guys stuck around um, this long. Uh, if you're not already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button um, and chuck us a like. Uh, man, it helps us out massively. Um, but yeah, cheers brothers. Till the next one. See you guys.